So we are here with Im Sang Soo from Korea. You have remade one of Korea's classic films from 1960. Both films are called The Housemaid. They're very, um, this version certainly is very sexy, very sick, very disturbing. Can you talk about, first of all, the original, which was uh, directed by Kim Ki Young, and I understand uh, Martin Scorsese was helpful in bringing about a restored version of that and putting it uh, on the market uh, so you can see it on DVD. So, what was the house made uh, in 1960? What was the was it black and white? Yes, black and white. And was the story uh, similar to what you have told? Yeah, very similar. Middle class uh, family. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll do it in Korea. Uh, uh, a family, housemaid, got to go. The husband, housemaid, and social relationship, made them different. Uh, there's, there's a family in the original film, and uh, there's a, they, they take in a housemaid. And the similarity probably ends right at the point where uh, the the man of the house has a sexual relationship with the housemaid. That's as similar as it gets. Okay. You could say that, except for that fact, everything else is completely different film. Okay. So you have made a completely different film by the name of the housemaid, but with a genuflection to the original. Looking back in 1960, what was it that made that movie so great? Uh, um, the most, most definitely, the, that film of the 1960s was uh, very much so about the socioeconomical context of that time. Um, this was when Korea, in Korea, the middle class that didn't exist before was suddenly um, starting to establish itself. It was starting to come about a concept that didn't exist before um, was taking place. And that family we see in that 60s film is one of those families. Um, and in that in that family, in that age, there was many uh, young women, men and women coming up from the rural countryside to the urbanized Seoul areas, working for a lower wage, doing work as a housemaid and other such lower paying wage uh, jobs. So, um, in that in one of those families, we see that uh, the man of the house uh, has a sexual relationship with his own housemaid, and then he is stri struck by this guilt and. Uh, concern of trying to keep his family together and uh, that was that was the point of that was the point of departure for that film so time. in the first film does she end up dead is it a sad story of a young uh, country girl who's been corrupted by uh, uh, big city denizens in a way first film is a first film is a young film so in, in that original film, uh, the housemaid in that character in that movie, the young woman was a very dangerous person who uh, kind of threw threw herself at this family. She seduced the man of the household. No way. She says, um, and um, so this is a very dangerous woman that tries to break up this family. Um, she in that main original film kind of takes over the main uh, master bedroom. Um, at one point, uh, she 
poisons the son of that family. Um, and by the end of the film, she uh, somehow convinces the man of the house to kill her, kill, kill themselves together, so die together. And it's a very kind of uh, extreme, very dangerous woman, this woman she is in that original film. Okay, this film, of course, is nothing like that. We have a very naive, uh, lovely, sweet woman who comes in. And what's interesting here, I think, is what you've done by creating a household where there is only one man. And he is the pampered son who is going to become, and this is very ironic, a prosecutor in the judicial system for the city. And he is the only man we see, and he has been pampered and has always gotten what he wants. And we meet his wife, uh, who is pregnant with twins, and she is attended by sort of a dragon lady household member who takes the young woman under her... Uh, ward, and they also have a young girl who is precociously smart uh, as their daughter. So there will be three children when the twins are born. And then into this situation uh, comes the mother-in-law from hell, somebody who seems to be like the Black Queen in Snow White or something, who would be happy to take a knife and take this young maid's heart out if it served her purpose. So you have really made, I think, a modern-day horror story. Um, like a fairy tale, like a very grim fairy tale from Europe. It, was that part of your intention? <laughs> He's never been denied anything, the son. Uh, uh, um, it's not the first time that I've heard people say that this is seems like a very grim fairy tale to, to them, um, like you've said. Um, but what I like to counter to that is that this is not at all like a fairy tale, and this is something that is very real in Korean society. Uh, that's what I'm trying to say. We've had a trial. And because I'm trying to show this, because I intend to show this as a realistic uh, you know, piece, um, the fact that this is seen like fairy tale material to people that are not Korean um, is, is exactly the change that. Uh, Korea is going through right now. Okay. Um, final uh, question for this part, In that is uh, the sex. Uh, the husband does not get it on too much with his pregnant wife, so he starts a sexual relationship with the uh, maid uh, who is discovered. And uh, it, these are very sexy scenes. There's, uh, are there laws in Korea, censorship laws, that you cannot show uh, male and female genitalia. Frontal nudity. Um, it's not illegal to shoot those scenes where we show genitalia and stuff like that, but rather if those scenes were left in the film, I wouldn't be able to have a general kind of wider release, and that's one of the restrictions I have, obviously. Okay. Thank you.